right so the uh, process one more time marketing management involves developing and implementing strategic marketing programs processes and activities that align with wider business objective while utilizing custom insights tracking metrics and optimizing internal processes to achieve success so optimizing internal processes so meaning marketing is managing internal consumer as well as the external consumer marketing also have a very strategic uh, programs it's not just have passions one it will be very systematic um, time bound um, measurable uh, objectives which um, are very broader so likewise yeah um that's the start of the whole introduction to what is marketing management is all about um if you go a bit further you see some videos as well and those videos will be uh, put to a level so don't worry even this is recorded um so marketing management is a way to find out the opportunities which are profitable and create these opportunities by satisfying the consumer or the customer um this is an opportunity how the opportunity ka khoya ganne eka kohom profitable karanne then nimmage boat ekak gatto mona opportunity ekak api seize karanne that is where your impeccable measurements or targets or objectives has to come or your vision has to come so is a way to find out opportunities which are profitable and create these opportunities by satisfying the customer i think you guys are on the right track um, just benchmark my tvs approach um, of diversifying into different different segments and um, getting the sales done so i think you guys are pretty much okay and i'm very happy that um, most of the people have been clicked uh, to the project and i'm pretty sure that the project will be uh i mean nimna will get a proper bp and imp right so it's it been discussed and you guys know what is opportunities and how to plug opportunities and guys who have joined recently i mean uh, just while ago uh, don't worry this will be recorded and put to 11 um and after every uh, 30 minutes we have to refresh because this is not a uh, a paid line so um, this will go off within 30 minutes and we'll relog right so marketing management is a consumer oriented always remember don't take decisions on the basis of a product please think what the consumer wants what the end user wants and in business to business um it's different business to consumer or b to c is different b to c is straight away from the consumer but b to b is where you find industry selling where you have business to business they they will uh, what do you call survive with from your business so this will be captured uh, at the next um, lecture uh, where we where we see b2b marketing right so don't worry about it so therefore the marketing manager has to find out the services that satisfy the consumer and the services that fail to meet the needs and expectation of consumers so that plus and 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 delta can be developed to cover cover up the shortage so you need to find out what makes what thrills the consumer like in mcdonald's what thrills the consumer right now we come to marketing management marketing management is a process of controlling the marketing aspects setting the goals of a company organizing the plans step by step taking decisions for the firm and executing them to get maximum turnover maximum turnover by meeting the consumer demands a person who who is a marketing manager must do a deep study to have the idea of actually what is marketing management and how uh, how to make it better in your firm's favor marketing management is based on product place price and promotions to attract consumers um these four p's are this Uh, decided by the management of the company according to the demand customer uh, customers that they want to buy and all that so guys please yeah. um, mark your attendance before you forget um when i was a marketing head and when i started as a sales rep or when i elevated into the marketing positions 
um, yeah, I take about three months to dive deep and see solutions. I'm not going to rush into certain things because it's not going to be easy. Um, if you make a mistake, there goes your profit. So, I'm this is the This is the uh, positions take over in future. Um, and don't worry, you will get that training from me. With this project, you'll be uh, put to various deep ends where you think, think as a group, think as an individual, how to take decisions. And when you are sure, and back to the research, when you are so sure, please go for it. Right? You need to take decisions. Um, as a head of marketing, I have saved many brand managers with their decision making. I have helped them, I have been mentoring them uh, to take decisions. So in marketing management, there's no one particular correct decision. Um, likewise, guys, remember, each of you might write a different answer script. That's perfectly okay. That's, that's perfectly all right. Um, I mean, for example, Janet's answer script might be different to Ravi's. So that's, that's fine. That is how it should be. But when you are doing a group assignment, please get together. There will be contributors. That's fine. Respect the thought. And please get to an excellent uh, plan that can be executed. Um, always remember that, that most of us uh, are not aware of a particular fact. 99% of CEOs or marketing managers or head of marketing or director marketing fails. Right. Not because they don't have a plan. They have brilliant plans, but these executional issues. You can have a plan, but you can't if you can't execute, then you are in major trouble. Right? So you need to be worried about execution. Right? So plan out properly and make sure that this can be true. This can be proven that this can be executed properly. When I've been when I suggested to uh, the board of directors of Melbourne Biscuits that changed the name from Melbourne Cream Cracker to Melbourne Smart Cream Cracker. I took that decision. I was 100% sure. And even I signed a blank document uh, where they can uh, sack me after, uh, after three months if this fails. I said, sack me after one year. If this fails, just, just sack me after one year. So I was very sure that this is going to work. Right. So I took the risk and there it goes. It became an absolute success. So likewise, guys, marketing management is a very deep study. It's about, it's a study about four P's. What is your product? What it made of? What is the core product? What is the actual product? What is the augmentation? What's the price? Is it ongoing? Is it penetrative? Right. Is it uh, going to benchmark with the competitor? So you're going to be very sure of what you're going to do. The promotions, which element that goes in. When you're briefing digital marketers, be very sure of your brief. Right. So you have to be very sure that the brief goes to digital marketers and say, hey, look, I want this promotion to go. Uh, this particular objective has to achieve through social media. Right. So your social media objectives has to be laid out through the business plan. Right. And then manage the process. Managing consumer expectations is called consumer management. Managing consumers is therefore rephrased as marketing management. So that's what marketing management is. Okay. Um, objectives of marketing management, the objective of each business are preset with is led by objectives of marketing management. The basic and important objectives of marketing management are first, attracting new customers. Always the case. It's always the case. The important objective of marketing management is to attract new cons new customers to increase the sale of products. Right Now, when you launch a boat, I mean, come on, guys. You guys are going to be launched. You guys are going to be launched a boat. Right. It's a special kind of a boat. Right. Today you'll be trained to do that. Tomorrow you'll be marketing aeroplanes or jumbo jets. Right. So imagine 
it's one of the biggest task um, that you guys are going to take um, you can be working for an airline or airline marketing group that are going to think strategically as to how to place this uh, Boeing 747 um, in which country that it has to be sold out so take this project this is one of a kind and um, I'll be writing to the management that um, this this team is going to take this task and we're already drafting that uh, letter and um, and have a fantastic presentation I'm going to invite uh, probably him in there to come and watch the whole thing because it's a totally new thing and have a good thing and always attract new customers have the customer plan properly so when you're pitching next week when you're showing the presentation to me I'll make some adjustments so don't worry but keep the objective in mind the first thing is get new customers and um, the other one is satisfying the demands of customers right? um, consumers demand I mean they, they demand a lot they demand um, extraordinary way right um, another important objective of marketing management is to keep satisfied the customer who is associated with the company's product for a longer period for this purpose the quality matters a lot but apart from this good service is also concerned like an on-time supply of product without damage the products are supplied so please have a after sale service plan have i mean go very deep to the product so that you can keep a consumer for a very long time third one profitability without earning profit a company could not survive longer earning profit is the backbone of a company it is necessary to earn profit for growing diversifying a business it is uh, and it is maintenance as well so always please present your uh, finances with a profit to the bottom line right um, probably dr damit will also associate uh, the presentation he might have uh, something to say but that's okay you all can suggest and make sure that that venture that venture will be profitable right? and remember the definition the definition says marketing is a management process responsible for identifying satisfying uh, and uh, anticipating consumer needs and wants at a profit in a sociably acceptable way whatever you do make a profitable win the more right so please make sure that you achieve profits so we'll go to the next one um, maximizing the market share another objective of marketing management is to make maximum marketing share right for this purpose companies use different tools to get maximum market sales of their products by having comparisons uh, with the market economy sometimes companies offer discounts to attract customers sometimes they do attractive and unique packaging and offer promotion so you guys are going to launch a new product right it's a new venture um, it's not going to be easy to sell it to overseas so what's the catch right so buy a boat you get something free or we'll get a good discount for you the cost is about like say to make the board is about hundred thousand and uh, keep a profit for about say fifty thousand right and um, so the, the selling price will be like hundred and fifty thousand or, or you can say my selling price is about two hundred thousand but I'll give you a fifty thousand off so that the penetration will be made sure so likewise think of how to get this market share going right and and please study of boat manufacturers where in the world these boats been manufactured like how they are manufacturing what types of boats they are manufacturing are they being uh, remote control are they being uh, controlled by sensors can that be controlled without a pilot like autonomous cars right uh, like what i was talking to um, the other two guys after the lecture is like okay anti uh, weather boats 
or and the current boards um, you know and and um, there was a fantastic idea came through that uh, the boat will have a glass uh, footing where you can see corals brilliant and that can be used for different purposes so these are brilliant ideas so i think you guys know what to do but make sure that you maximize the market share by, uh, by launching this right and also marketing management is is therefore to create a good public reputation public reputation plays an important role in the growth of a company if the company has stood as a good public figure it means it has more chance to grow and diversify but if stands with a bad reputation it will no longer survive so always marketers are the front runners of a com company sales guys are the front runners of a company whatever it happens marketers go to the front they bite the bullet they safeguard the company like an army they come in front and they represent the entity right i have gone through many issues like melamine issue Uh, when I was head of marketing at Melvins, I made sure that I conduct the uh, what they call the press conference. I made sure that I will rally around with the directors, and they give their help, and then uh, handle the meeting properly, which went off pretty good. So, the PR with press, PR with consumers, PR with internal consumers have to manage by marketing. Right. Either pass every balamo. Um, why is marketing management important? Marketing management is so important. Uh, is of importance as it helps stands competent, stand competent in highly thriving competition in the market. Now this is what I want to come come to. Marketing ke ane promotions ne me langka ve. सहेंद मम दू सहेंद मम एरेंद गोडाक मार्केटिंग हेड्स करा प्रमोशन मैनेज बेसिकली दे आर प्रमोशनल मैनेजर्स मार्केटिंग मैनेजर्स दे एब्सोल्युटली थ्राइव टू बी वेरी कॉम्पिटेटिव सो प्रोडक्ट वाइज प्राइस वाइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वाइज प्रमोशन वाइज पीपल वाइज फिजिकल एविडेंस वाइज प्रोसेस वाइज they're going to be very competitive i see very rare marketing heads manage the entire marketing mix godak karata karane promotion ne advertise advertisement at dala kena api campaign ne kala eka varadi marketing management can it is a deep subject ka right eka mara thrilling subject this also helps to develop strategies to improve profits and reduce cost of products right पुलवांतर बल्ला ऑपर्चुनिटी हो प्रॉफिट साधन राइट एंड टू रिड्यूस द कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स सो मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट हैज बिकम द मेजर सोर्स ऑफ एक्सचेंज एंड ट्रांसफर ऑफ गुड्स सो सी हाउ फैसिनेटिंग दिस इज सी हाउ ब्रिलियंट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मार्केटिंग इज सो एज इंजीनियर्स फॉर अ वाइल टेक द इंजीनियर हेट ऑफ एंड फुट द मार्केटिंग हेट एंड सी यू सी अ डिफरेंट वर्ल्ड ऑल टूगेदर so it helps to maintain the company's reputation like i said a good company is recognized by its, its reputation in the market for example benz bmw uh, alfa romeo uh, audi if you look at local uh, examples malibu manchi right hemas these are classic local examples unilever and then nestle are all foreign right global entities but look at the reputation why because marketing is absolutely perfect right okay it helps to boost the economy of the company marketing management decides the way to beat the marketing uh, market competition and make good sales they develop plans to advertise their products in an effective very effective very attractive way Right. So always remember your advertisements. Now you all can draw advertisements for this particular board. Please go ahead. Show me how this promotion is going to work. Take some pastels. Take some platinums. 
take some marker pens get some bristle boards draw your promotions draw your ads make the presentation absolutely brilliant i'm going to ask my colleague who i known for ages uh, that is nadi dharma sri who has joined uh, what do you call uh, sltc to witness this and if you can blow their minds with posters and all that guys please go ahead it promotes new ideas marketing it always promotes new ideas so don't get stuck getting this board through no think radically get together and think radically think like innovators nikam nikam hitanne pa making uparima prayojane ganna this will open your minds and i'm pretty sure once you through you will feel what a brilliant project this is so it promotes new ideas the marketing management helps to promote new ideas which are depending upon the benefit and offers for the public to be grabbed quickly now if you look at mcdonalds recently added foot long right it is it, it's selling see it's, it's a new idea it's selling brilliantly right right so that's about marketing management guys let's look at a um, small video but don't worry this will be put to your lms but let's go through this and okay. let me share the screen and uh where is it yeah oops 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 okay we go in this video you are going to learn marketing management let's start the video Being an effective marketing manager is more complex than most people think. Speak to any marketing management professional and they will tell you that their work is equal parts strategy, planning, execution and analysis. Marketing managers with a documented strategy are more likely to succeed when compared to their rivals who do not have a documented strategy. So, what is the role of marketing management? and how does it help organizations with future planning understand customers and create valuable products and services discover all of this and more in this video so what is marketing management marketing management is a process of controlling the marketing aspects setting the goals of a company organizing the plans step by step taking decisions for the company and executing them to get the maximum turnover by meeting the consumer's demands a marketing manager must do a deep study to have an idea of marketing management and how to make it better in your company's favor marketing management is based on product place price and promotion to attract consumers these four p's are decided by the management of the company according to the needs of customers with suitable market prices and easy to find either in stores or online i have discussed the four p's of marketing and different marketing strategies in another video check the video in the i button or in the description box objectives of marketing management the basic and important objectives of marketing management are attracting new customers Different strategies are set to make sure that maximum customers get attracted to the company's products like displaying ads on TV channels or social media, brochures, and arranging a sales team that demonstrates the products. Fulfilling customers' demands. Happy customers equals maximum returns. Marketing management helps to understand how you can keep your customers happy and satisfied. And It works especially for those customers who are associated with the company's product for a longer period. Therefore, the company's focus should be on providing quality products and good services. Earn profit. It is necessary to earn profit for growing, diversifying a business and its maintenance as well. In order to achieve that, your company must know marketing management. It will guide you to achieve your market targets, track customers and sales, attaining more customers to generate maximum 
revenue and profits. Maximizing the market share. Another objective of marketing management is to maximizing the market share. Sometimes, companies offer discounts to attract customers. Sometimes, they do attractive and unique packaging and offer promotions. Creating a good public reputation. No company could survive longer if they have a bad image or reputation. Having an excellent reputation signifies higher chances of expansion and growth. In addition, an excellent reputation leads to gaining the trust and loyalty of customers as well. Now come to the marketing management process. Every company has its specific objectives and goals that make it distinctive from other companies in the market. Let's discuss some steps needed to make your marketing management effective. Step 1. Market and Customer Analysis A company needs to know what its position in the market for its survival and growth. For this purpose, the company has to analyze its rank and its sustainability after each short period of time. Also analyze consumer behavior towards your products or services. Step 2. Development of strategy, goals, and objectives. Where does a business want to go? How does it plan to get there? After market and customer analysis, the strategy will map the way forward. The goals a company has to set should be unique, aspiring, based on reality, and for a specific time. Step 3. Product Development Marketing managers work on product development by considering raw resources, technology, and good ideas so that they can receive positive feedback and gain public appeal. When it comes to expressing the benefits of a product, marketing professionals help craft poignant, on-brand messaging. Step 4. Marketing Program Implementation once promising programs and campaigns have been identified, it's time to deploy the right resources to launch the marketing campaign. Step 5. Keep evaluating, modifying, and repeating the strategies. After that, when you have executed the plan to get fruitful results, it is time to evaluate your company's outcomes, and modify them if there is a requirement, but if they are going well and result-oriented, they are repeated. Check out my other videos on sales and marketing for deep. Yeah. So that's that's 
that's a small piece of video so within four minutes this conversation will end guys you can rejoin using the same link um any questions you have up to now before i step into strategic management you can throw any questions to me right now with regards to marketing management are you guys okay you can have a, a slow review once this lecture is finished um, this is already in the lms i hope you guys have registered uh, your attendance any questions for the prashadin on the hand marketing management Turn on the computer. Are you guys okay? Okay. Thanks, Navish. Uh, how about others? Imana, Janet, Ravi, are you guys okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, super. So, um. We have less than two minutes, so we'll wait till this ends, and then we'll take a fresh thirty minutes so that we can take the next uh, session. Right, so I'll be showing some videos, and um, you can see it later in the LMS. And uh, go through your LMS. I have put some new um, materials. That is marketing four point zero and evolution of marketing. very beginning of the uh, lms you can read marketing 4.0 by philip kotler the summary uh, i have the book if you can buy the book it's good um that is marketing 4.0 that's uh, the industrial revolution the digital uh, revolution um this 4.0 2.0 3.0 s- uh, signifies the industrial revolutions the first industrial revolution the second the third and the fourth now we are in the fourth uh, it's already in motion um it's it's uh, more towards digitalization so just read that article and you'll get more insights as to where the next um gen marketing is going to be formed um in your marketing plans and when you're directing the uh, digital team make sure to give more focus towards digital um because you have to reach um countries like new zealand australia uh fiji tonga samoa where they have a kind of a beach experience so you can use those facebook strategies social media strategies through digital marketing guys we have less than 1 minute and um once this is over please rejoin